Hey, Coach, how you doing today? Good. How you doing, JJ? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Appreciate you joining us. What um, how is how has your defense responded this week after you know getting that abrupt cancellation last week? You know, uh, the kids understand the importance of uh, having the opportunity to play. Uh, we tell them nothing's promised to us, and uh, obviously, uh, last week was a great example of you know, being prepared for the unpredictable and uh, taking advantage of every opportunity that we get. And uh, our kids are, you know, they've been really good about coming out, preparing, and moving on to the next opponent. You feel like they were fresh a little this week? Were they able to benefit from that time off? You know, you know, we don't actually know until we go out and play. I know from a mental standpoint, the kids uh, – seem to have a little bit more bounce. Uh, they enjoyed some time alone away from the game this weekend, and uh, hopefully to show up on Saturday, a, a fresh defense that's ready to go out and perform at a high level for four quarters. Hey, Greg? Did you feel like your guys really needed that time off, just given the grind of the season had been to this point with the eight straight games? You know, uh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. You know, I think our kids are mentally tough, and I think uh, they prepare. Coach Fallow's done a great job in the weight room with these guys getting their bodies hard and strong in a short period of time. And, uh, you know, you like to say, yes, the time off was great, but on the other hand, you don't know until you go out and play. But uh, hopefully everything will work out in our favor because that's something we can't control. You mentioned that mental challenge. Is it tough for the guys to have a game postponed late in the week and then it throws off your rhythm? Is that a, is that a hurdle mentally? Well, you know, I think it is for everyone. I think even as coaches, uh, you know, handling any form of adversity, uh, change in the schedule of what's put being planned, uh, I think that's tough on everyone because you take yourself, you have to devote so much time into mentally preparing for a team and physically preparing that, it's a toll on you, and I think maybe the time off helped relieve some of those things. And, you know, we came back Sunday as a fresh unit and a, a unit that had an opportunity to see some other defenses uh, play throughout the weekend and, you know, realize where we really stack up. Yeah, how did the coaches try to maximize that time? Did you guys get a chance to do some sort of self-scouting and looking at your cell phone film at all, too? It, it's no doubt we uh, did a – very thorough job defensively uh, evaluating what we've done and where we're at at this point. And, you know, we tried to find out the things that we're doing poorly, how to fix those things, and how to uh, expound more on the things that we did well. So, you know, this thing, uh, the more time you have, the more time you get to study your opponent and you get to study yourself. So uh, hopefully it was beneficial for us and uh, gives us a chance to be a much better defense uh, going down the stretch. Has maybe the thin roster in certain areas forced you to change anything about the way the practice format is run or how these workouts have been structured? You know, Coach Trailer does a great job of organizing our practices and knowing when to cut back, when to extend. And obviously what we do as coaches, we just coach the next guy. We coach the guys that's available, and we try to get them prepared to play uh, the best football that they can. So. You know, sometimes numbers do affect us, but it hadn't affected us uh, enough where we changed our practice schedules. Do you think you'll feel that that all in the game on some, on Saturday? I hope not. I hope we don't feel anything but other than a good performance and a performance well enough to come out victorious. Uh, you know, we can't control some of these things. And, you know, we, we spend a lot of time talking about controlling controllables and you know, the only thing we can is the amount of time it is between hearing kickoff and the way we play the game when it's actually being kicked off. Is there anything you can change from a play calling perspective to account for maybe where you have less depth or to put less focus on certain position groups? You know, I call the game to give us the best chance to win. And we try to utilize what our kids do best, put them in those positions to make plays and you know, hopefully that will be uh, some type of disruption for the offense. But all in all, we try to do what's best for our kids, and we try to keep the playbook as broad as possible. Probably the first game of the season is the worst, uh, in my opinion, of having enough volume to go out and execute and finish from starting the game to finishing. But since that point on, I think our defensive staff done a great job 
of making sure we have enough, we have enough kids educated on different roles in case injuries take place. And, uh, you know, we have no excuses. It's up to us to go out and perform. Along those lines, Coach was telling us because of the way the year has worked out that you might get guys back from whether it's injury or COVID protocols on a Thursday or Friday, and then they could be a part of the game plan Saturday where in previous seasons they might still sit out that game just because they haven't had the practice time. Has that been a, a change or an adjustment for you at all through this season? You know, we hadn't had that happen for us defensively a whole lot. Uh, I think I can remember on one hand, and it was due to an injury, uh, Peter Gray was able to – uh, come back and be a factor later in the week. But typically, that's not the protocol. And typically, that's a situation where a kid cannot go out and perform as well without the practice. So, you know, we strongly encourage each kid that can go out and practice each day to have an opportunity to go out and play on Saturdays. And those guys who come back, like on a Thursday or Friday, are only coming back from a um, – injury standpoint or depth standpoint if the game dictated where we had to have them. Otherwise, we try to leave those guys out and win with the guys we prepared with all week. As you've sort of seen the team through this week and watched them go through some practices, do you have any sense that the players are concerned about the possibility of more positive tests popping up or this game getting postponed this weekend? Is that something that's in their mind at all through the week? I hope not because it's not in mind, you know, and that's one thing we can't control. All we can do is uh, wear our mask, uh, try to stay health free, try to do the things to uh, hygiene in the proper way and, you know, continue our bubble of the people that we're surrounding ourselves with. Uh, not to knock on wood, but our kids defensively have done a good job of, you know, staying within the parameters of uh, most of the situations this year. You know, most of our time off for guys missing has been mainly to injuries. Do you have to emphasize that with them this week, especially just, hey, stay within the protocols and keep focused on the task at hand here? You know, that's something that Coach Trailer has instilled in our team from day one. And uh, we try not to get relaxed on anything uh, that's team-related, health-related. So, no, it's no special emphasis this week. It's just a continuing emphasis that we've made throughout camp uh, up to the current date. Okay, anything else for Coach Nix? All right. Thanks, everyone.